all right guys welcome back now uh, as you saw I changed the distributor cap and rotor because it wasn't starting that great and usually that problem means that there's a crack in the cap so I wanted to kind of sort of explain to people who might not know how the distributor works and show you the difference between what I found when I changed the cap and what I usually find because this one didn't crack but uh, what I got here is the original distributor for the truck and I changed this a couple of years ago and this cap is the second cap that I had for the new distributor and this is the one I just pulled off and the rotor as you can see the center of the rotor is quite burnt and it's only you know these things haven't been lasting even a year most of the time this lasted pretty long but if you look at the underside of the cap you can look in there all the copper corrosion on this and what that does is as the rotor flings by you can see all the dust around here and around each of the electrodes and it just builds up and then when that starts arcing it comes in off the coil wire here and makes contact here and then that spits it out to the end of this line and it brushes as it goes around each each of the uh, electrodes so when you have so much of this copper green in here um, because you can see all the little flakes they show up kind of like white specks but uh, what that does is instead of the spark going all the way to each electrode it starts sparking and crossing all over and in this truck and most of the Chevy distributors like this like the 4.3 liter trucks and vans and the S10s and the Astro vans and anything with this new style distributor the old style with the, the plug things that stick up and go around and then your centers in the middle for your coil instead of all this integrated uh, integrated top here uh, when they just stick up like uh, the old caps I've never had a problem with one of those and I have two cars that uh, run them you know the Chevelle over here that runs an old style distributor uh, I don't know if I got the hood up or not no I don't have the hood up so I can't show you but uh, that's just uh, age and corrosion I guess for these new styles but this is the whole distributor and it's plunks down in the back of your intake and it goes all the way down to the camshaft where there's a set of gear teeth um, and these gear teeth and they lock together and uh, pop the cap off and the old rotor um, and what it does is the camshaft spins this around the distributor and your rotor is attached to that See this rotor actually well the ends a little melted I don't know if you can see that very well but it's not exactly flat so with that on there it spins around every rotation and that's what makes it hit the uh, electrodes in here now this cap is cracked this one cracked if I can find it if I can find the crack I'll let you guys see it One of these has a crack in it. And it figures I can't find the crack now. But I know this one had a crack in it. find it now, I'm not seeing a crack but I know there was one in this one but this one again you can see all the sparklies in there 
um, so usually the crack along the base and crack up and uh, I think that's just a seam that off where's that the crack that might be the crack yeah there it is got a little hairline string you see there get my finger out of the way is the crack right here and it's not a big deal, but as you can see, it's right by the screw one screw hole for the holding screw. And it'll separate just enough to let moisture get in there. And then you get the whole corrosion thing, and then you get the arcing all over from point to point instead of going out to the wire and out to the engine. And this truck just doesn't like it. And uh, But uh, this time it wore out my starter trying to start it because it just uh, the starter wasn't right to begin with. If you remember on the video if you go back to the video when I did the shock install I had to start the truck to turn the wheel or not the shock install when I repaired the uh, link for the uh, lift kit the uh, stabilizer link for the uh, that goes from the frame to the uh, center link had broken which I mentioned that in a couple of previous videos before doing that and I had to order the, the kit for that from Rough Country and uh, but when I had to I had to turn the wheel to the left and I started it if you listen you can hear the starter it doesn't sound good it doesn't sound happy at all um, and uh, when I had to change this cap and rotor because it wasn't firing and I was starting it so much that uh, it kind of burned the cellulite out and it was getting so bad that I have to start it turn the key three four times before it would finally push the starter and engage into the flywheel and start so I went ahead and picked up a new starter and I changed that after I changed the distributor and now the thing starts beautiful I mean it starts it starts right you turn the key and it's like vroom, roars right to life and uh, it doesn't drag anymore so I think that starter was defective anyways from the get-go because I had shimmed it and everything and it still dragged coming off that flywheel for some reason it wouldn't come back far enough and when I changed the starter I didn't the shims I had I didn't even put them in and it doesn't drag at all so I think that starter was junk from the get-go and you get that sometimes but anyways with the distributor changed or with the cabin rotor changed and the starter changed it starts perfectly fine now and hopefully I can get more in a year out of this distributor cap um, but I wanted to show you all in case you weren't aware of how the system how, how this all works um, that way you could kind of get an idea of what goes on inside your distributor because um, your gear is turned by the camshaft it turns the wheel and this is connected to the wheel here there's a sensor here this is the cam sensor hole um, uh, obviously I put the cam sensor in the truck or no I saved that one in case I had a problem with it because the distributor that I put in there was an aftermarket not the AC Delco because it was cheaper so I saved this factory cam sensor since it was technically okay and when I changed this it had 223 223 no 200 and had over 223,000 on it anyways but the cam sensor was still good whether it was replaced before or not so uh, your distributor rotates around that's why it's called rotor because it rotates inside the cap and then the uh, coil which is separate um, the coil comes in through here and rests on top of the rotor and shoots the electricity to the end of the rotor and it goes around and hits all these contacts as it goes around firing to each cylinder and making obviously making it run so I guess this will be just a little inform informal video um, and I wanted to let you guys know the problems I came across with this truck and I've been dealing with this 
since uh, I found out this distributor was bad. And it, it, what happened is, if I were to screw this back on for you, you'd see that one side there's a gap. Just a small gap, but it's still a gap. Um, so it wasn't sealing properly. The new distributor seals properly, but I don't know if I just torqued it too much and cracked them or what, because I try not to. So we're going to close this video out. Um, until the next one, you want to subscribe, go ahead, and y'all have fun.